Hey guys, hope you're doing well and welcome to the channel. For those of you who are new here, my name is Andy. I am a first year medical student at the Medical College of Georgia. And today I'm about to fulfill a lifelong dream of mine of being a tech YouTuber. Right here is my backpack and we're gonna show you kind of what I carry on my body every day going to class or on most days and can show you why I carry what I do. So, let's get started. By the way, none of the brands that I'm going to talk about are sponsoring me, but hey, if you're uh, listening, PR teams, hit me up, I got you. So first, we'll start with the backpack. This is a Brevity, I believe, jumper backpack. It's actually a camera backpack, which is interesting. It's got a lot of cool features in it that make it both a good everyday carry backpack as well as a camera bag as it's designed to be. It's got tons of compartments around here, a water bottle, carrier, a bunch of loops. It's even got a tripod holder at the bottom. The main reason why I have a camera backpack with me is that this right here. There's an easy access side, I guess, what would you call this? Side zip out. <laughs> I don't know what to call this. Uh, but you can easily grab your camera like this out. And so I always have my camera on me whenever I need to shoot a full shot or just if I want to capture a moment. And just having the camera on hand is really, really useful and it keeps, it gives me a little bit of peace of mind that I'm never going to miss a shot. The camera I use is the Canon M50. Uh, it's a really cheap entry level camera, but it's mirrorless. So it's got the capabilities of a good DSLR with the size factor of a mirrorless. And it's honestly the size of like a point and shoot. So I would highly recommend this to anyone who's thinking of getting into photography, videography, YouTube, whatnot. It's a great starter kit. And I usually have my vlogging lens on this. I do not right now, uh, but usually it's a 11 to 16 millimeter uh, f2.8 from Tokina. So if I'll have all this linked in the description if you want to go check it out. But really awesome camera, and I always have this on. Next in the big compartment here, I have my 16-inch MacBook Pro. It's been my workhorse. Does all my schoolwork. All my dad data analyzing, all my video editing. This thing is an absolute beast. I customize it with all my own stickers. Each of these have a little story to them. Uh, this one is my favorite because it's the dog in the burning room and saying this is fine because that's basically how med school feels like. Um, and uh, of course, my custom sticker for my logos, a good friend of mine made them. Uh, that will also be linked in the description if you want to go support her and her artistic endeavors uh, and she's really helped out the channel in that regard. And then of course my iPad. This is a second gen iPad Pro. Uh, this is basically where I take all my notes. Uh, you'll see me in my other videos annotate on the lecture slides uh, downloaded in an app called GoodNotes. And it's been amazing. I've had this for two or three years so far, and it combines the Ugh. it combines the pros of having handwritten notes, such as like the memory and spatial awareness of what you're writing, as well as the just portability of digital notes. And they will always be stored here. You don't have to throw them away. Plus, you can control F. Uh, find your handwriting so it's super nice finding uh, information that like you don't want to search through notebooks and notebooks for then in this front pocket here I have a gorilla pod which again I'm a big proponent of having a camera with me at all times so that I never miss a shot so this allows me to set up my shot anywhere uh, without you know damaging my camera and then here is an in-case accessory organizer nylon accessory organizer this keeps all my stuff organized because it's an organizer I've said it like three or four times now um, I'm by the worst tech YouTuber you can get out there 
But inside, I have my hard drive. This is one terabyte. I keep most of my videos, my pictures on this, so it's always good to have handy. And uh, for all you uh, MacBook users, the dongle, yeah, uh, USB-C life. This gives me three uh, USB 3.0s, SD card reader, micro SD, as well as HDMI and another uh, USB-C uh, through port. And so you always gotta have this on you um, for whatever you need. And then inside, this is where I keep all my chargers as well as a little spot for my Apple Pencil because you know the iPad is somewhat useless as a notebook without the Apple Pencil. Uh, this is some of the Ethernet cable and again Ethernet adapter, MacBook Pro life uh, because for all of our exams we have to be on a wired connection just to make sure no one can use the excuse of oh my internet went out for, <laughs> for my quiz. Uh, as well as my MacBook charger and a spare phone charger. Uh, always gotta have this. Super useful. And this is just a super nice and easy way to keep all the little accessories together so that when I am traveling, I just grab this one thing and I'm out the door. I don't have to grab each of them individually and worry if, some, if something's in there or not. Moving on into this front pocket here. It's got a good few little like elastic things where you can keep stuff. Uh, this is a little notebook that I use for my cases. So every week we have a uh, case study that I work with my group of eight with. And it's a little tip I picked up from an emergency medicine medicine doctor uh, at MCG, where because he's seeing like 40, 50 patients a day, he would make a habit of trying to condense all the patient information that he gets coming in into like two or three uh, sentences. And so that's something that I've been trying to do with all my cases so that I can quickly synthesize the pertinent information um, and be able to deliver that to somebody else if need be. And that's this little notebook. And then the other stuff in this compartment, a little light because lighting is always important. And then some extra batteries. I always have like two or three uh, for my M50 because the only drawback of this camera is that the battery life sucks. So I have like six or seven spare batteries. I always am rolling through them. So I got to keep those on me. A pen because it's always useful for, of course, writing handwritten notes. Chapstick uh, because, you know, stays moist. Moist. Yeah, I know everybody's gonna hate me for saying that. And then uh, a scent bird cologne thing because, you know, sometimes you're at the cadaver lab, you smell terrible. Even though it's just been a long day, you haven't been able to wash up. Having a little bit of cologne on you is great. And Scentbird is a cool website. I'm not sponsored by them or anything, but if you want to, please reach out to me because I love your products. It's a little subscription service. You get a small little vial like this. You can take anywhere. It's nice. And then, oh, uh, finally, AirPods. Because you always need music and I am a slave to Tim Cook and the Apple ecosystem. So uh, I have this little panda knit cover on it because I bought it for a dollar at a local store. I was out with a friend and I thought this was the most adorable thing ever. So yeah, that's my little personality touch on that. And then the cool thing about this backpack is that it has an entire front opening panel. So you can open it up like this and have full access to the interior. And so, also there's little dividers in here, I'll show you in a second, but right here, this is my uh, planner slash notebook. I don't have like a calendar planner, I use Google Calendar for that, but uh, this is where I write down all my kind of daily to-do lists because I found it super useful to physically cross out the things I need to get done as I get them done throughout the day, uh, as well as just set my weekly goals. So this is more of a daily uh, to-do list thingy. Uh, but I love it. I've been doing this for several years and I haven't looked back since. Oh, also, you can see right here, there's like little dividers 
uh, between them. And so you can customize this any way you want. They're Velcro, again, brevity, great design bag. Uh, I would highly recommend using this. So I have an Anchor 20,000 milliamp portable charger. And then I always keep like a spare lens on me. This is the 22 millimeter EFM F2. Uh, for those of you who are not camera geeks like me, that means nothing to you, I'm sorry, but it's just, it's an extra lens, okay? <laughs> and then, under this pocket, I got uh, lens caps and then a camera strap from Peak Design that I use to kind of stabilize some shots and just whenever I need, need it, it's there. And that's kind of the purpose of uh, what I carry on an everyday basis is to be prepared as much as possible for any situation that I come across. Um, with that being said, COVID era, always have hand sanitizer on you because you never know when you gotta clean up. Man, of course, Naji, stay hydrated guys. Uh, that's the biggest recommendation. I know I don't do a very good job of it. I try to drink like two or three of these a day, but it never really happens. Do as I say, not as I do. Uh, and of course, now jeans, they're really popularized for stickers on them. Again, like my laptop, each one of these stickers kind of has a story behind them, which is why I love it so much. And then, kind of a cool thing right here, there's a little hidden pocket right here. It's supposed to be for passports, but because I'm in like scrubs or something, I try to keep my pockets clear. So this is where my wallet goes, right? Here. And yeah, it's a uh, master's wallet. I grew up in Augusta. It's my birthright to have a bunch of master's gear. Uh, but it's a nice wallet at the same time. So usually what's on me is uh, my stethoscope. I always gotta have that on me just in case um, I ever need it for my patient care services. So this is the stethoscope that the school gave us at the beginning of the year. Uh, it's actually really, really nice, and it's got a custom like MCG logo uh, on the bell. It's great. And then, of course, a mask. Again, somewhat sponsored by Medical College of Georgia. Uh, these are just cloth masks, and I have like five or six masks that I switch out. And also, cool little thing, forgot to mention, on my backpack, I have this little button from a tea shop that was at a coffee competition that I attended because back when I worked as a barista for a local coffee shop, I was able to go to like, different competitions and meet roasters and shops from all over the country. Got this button from it, but it serves as a dual purpose for hanging your mask. So, for example, if you're like walking and then you get out of the building and you walk, walk outside, you can you know, take your mask off and then just Hang it right there so that you have it on you, and, but it's out of the way and your hands are free. Great pro tip. And you can use any button or clip for that matter uh, to serve the same purpose. And then finally, just my ID badge. Always gotta have this on me. This has all my access to the buildings, so can't really leave home without it. And then, well, I guess this is the boring part. Phone and keys. Uh, this is an iPhone 7 that I've had for several years, looking to upgrade very soon. And my keys, I try to keep it pretty minimal. And yes, I have a master's uh, key fob on it because, again, it's my birthright. But anyways, this is all that I normally carry on me. It's a lot, trust me. But again, my purpose for carrying a lot of this stuff is to be prepared for most, if not any, situation that comes along the way, especially, you know, making these videos and everything, I want to be able to capture the cool moments and cool experiences that I have as a medical student to share with you guys. So hopefully uh, you can incorporate some of these things into your daily, everyday carry if you find it interesting. Again, I'm not sponsored by any of these, uh, but I put my full trust into these products. I've done a lot of research into them. Um, so I highly recommend everything that I've mentioned here so far. I will have everything linked in the description. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed the video and you got a cool glimpse into how I use these things. But like and, sub like and subscribe as always. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Peace.